All right, guys, we're going to talk about the bile ducts that come from the liver and gallbladder and the pancreatic ducts that come from the pancreas, all of which join together to empty secretions into the beginning of the small intestine called the duodenum. So looking here, this is kind of a simplified version. Um, what you guys see in brown is the liver, right? the big liver. The liver is what makes bile. So the liver is constantly making bile, and then we're going to store it here in this green structure called the gallbladder. The gallbladder is located underneath the liver and the bottom of the liver. Now there are ducts, little tubes, that collect the bile from the liver and carry it into the gallbladder where it's going to be stored. Now <clears throat> those ducts are the left and right hepatic duct and then the common hepatic duct. So here these are the left and right hepatic ducts. This one on this side is the right hepatic duct. This over here is the left hepatic duct. Then where they join together is the common hepatic duct. I know that this is the right hepatic duct because this is the right side of the liver. The right lobe of the liver is much bigger than the left lobe. So I know this side must be the right. So right hepatic duct, left hepatic duct. They come together and that forms the common hepatic duct. Then we said that this was the gallbladder. The duct that leads out of the gallbladder here is called the cystic duct, cystic. Then those join together, right? The cystic duct and the common hepatic duct, they join and this long duct stretches all the way down and empties into the duodenum, the very beginning of the small intestine. This duct that reaches all the way down is the common bile duct, or sometimes you'll just see bile duct. Now you'll notice at the very bottom right here, the bile duct joins up with this yellow tube right here. This yellow tube extends all the way down the length of the pancreas. So this is showing us the pancreas. It starts at the duodenum and stretches all the way over up to the left side of the body to the spleen. Now the pancreas also makes secretions that it dumps into the small intestine. So this yellow tube that comes all the way down the length of the pancreas is the main pancreatic duct. At the end, it joins with the common bile duct. And we have this little swollen area of the tube at the very end where it gets a little bit wider. That's called the hepatopancreatic ampulla. An ampule is like, like a wide little bottle, like it's, it's wider. So hepatopancreatic ampulla. Hepatic because the bile, pancreatic because of the pancreatic juices. Then there's a little sphincter right here in the wall of the duodenum that controls the release of, of the, um, the secretions. That is called the sphincter of hepatopancreatic ampulla. So the sphincter of hepatopancreatic ampulla is the actual sphincter. The little swollen part of the tube is the ampulla. Now, this little tube protrudes through the wall of the duodenum a little bit, and it makes the wall of the duodenum stick out a bit right here. That's called the major duodenal papilla, right? Just a little part of the duodenum that sticks out, the major duodenal papilla. Now, there is another pancreatic duct called the accessory pancreatic duct. That goes from here to here. It's just this last little bit here, and it does drain the duodenum a little bit higher than the main pancreatic duct. Now, I also have this model here. This model is not showing us the actual liver. Um, it would sit in the body like this. So the spleen is over here up in the left upper quadrant. The liver would sit here in the right upper quadrant. And the gallbladder, you see um, in green right, right here, this is the gallbladder. This would sit right underneath the liver. So <clears throat> then this is the pancreas, right? Stretching out from the spleen over this way. And then this little tube is the duodenum, the beginning of the small intestine. So you can see here, there are these little green tubes right here. These are all the bile ducts. So these two are the left and right hepatic duct. So the left hepatic duct on the side with the spleen and then the right hepatic duct. They join to form the common hepatic duct. From the gallbladder, we have the cystic duct. 
and then where the cystic duct meets with the common hepatic duct, that gives us the bile duct. So this bile duct is gonna come all the way down and then you see it poking out down here again. So the bile duct pokes out down here and it meets up with the main pancreatic duct. So you can see the main pancreatic duct coming from the pancreas and joining with the bile duct. Right here, you can see how it gets a little bit swollen. Right, That area right there is the hepatopancreatic ampulla and the muscle around it forms the sphincter. So the sphincter of hepatopancreatic ampulla. It's also called the sphincter of OD, ODDI. Finally, where this protrudes through the wall of the duodenum, it forms a little, a little swelling inside the duodenum called the major duodenal papilla. This little white line up here is showing us the accessory pancreatic duct. And that is it.